Well, Absolutely. Dan, thank you so much for everything you're doing. Once again, making waves in the mainstream media. We really appreciate everything you're doing for us here at InfoWars and for America, for freedom. And thank you, Leanne. And um, everybody, um, please support the InfoWars. I'll go to InfoWarsShop.com. We got the water <laughs> filters. We got all the cool T-shirts and everything. And uh, again, support the InfoWars because your support, folks, helps fund the operation to bring more real journalism to the public. Can I get a Dan Badandi point? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, we'll see you soon. I'm Take sure care, we'll be hearing more. Thank you. Yep. God bless. <laughs> Dan Badandi, he is going to lead the revolution. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. We'll see you here again at 7 p.m. Central. Tune in to PrisonPlanet.tv for an extended broadcast. The video of a homeless man shot to death after illegally camping in Albuquerque looks to many people like cold-blooded murder by the police. But the Albuquerque police chief has pronounced the shooting as justified. Members of the local press complain the police chief cut the press conference off abruptly before they were able to ask questions about the use of lethal force. Like many police departments across the country, APD's excessive use of force is escalating because the police aren't brought to justice when they cross the line. Look at how differently the police who are involved in shootings are treated compared to a New Mexico sheriff who pushed back against TSA harassment and was threatened while traveling to a Constitutional Sheriffs and Peace Officers Association meeting. Shane Harger was fired and his entire small town police force was disbanded. The mainstream media joined with the TSA and a sheriff's department to imply that there was something fishy about him having two IDs. But the reason he had two IDs goes back to a murder trial involving an Albuquerque police officer. Levi Chavez was a cop who said his wife committed suicide using his service revolver. Shane Harger was a deputy and first on the scene. There were several things that led him to believe that it was not a suicide but a possible homicide. And then Chavez's police friend showed up out of their jurisdiction and started destroying evidence. According to the deposition, Deputy Shane Harger said he was appalled when he was told by an APD lieutenant he was going to cut up and remove bloody sheets. Harger said in the deposition, quote, I was appalled that a lieutenant of a renowned agency as Albuquerque Police Department would even consider entering a homicide scene out of his jurisdiction, let alone remove evidence. So lieutenant, who should know better, and who's out of his jurisdiction, calls and gets permission to destroy evidence? And it just so happens that the suspect is a friend and fellow cop. The suspect's uncle, Robert Chavez, was a sheriff. Shane Harger was offered a job and accepted, not knowing that they were related. The murder suspect's father, Levi Chavez Sr., also worked for Robert Chavez and allegedly approached Shane Harger to give favorable testimony about his son. When you look at what came to light during the investigation, the destroyed evidence, the alleged car theft ring being run by the Chavez law enforcement family, and the multiple suicides of people involved with the Chavez family cops that were killed with police service revolvers belonging to the Chavez family members, it appears that Shane Harger had very good reason to fear for his life. And that's something that's apparently a big problem in New Mexico. Just look at these recent headlines from just the last three months. A cop shooting up a minivan full of kids. A man doesn't come to a complete stop, and the cops force him to undergo enemas, x-rays, and eight anal probes. A woman has her genitals sprayed with mace by a cop. You would think that New Mexico would be applauding that someone in law enforcement was concerned about the police staying within the bounds of the law and the Constitution. The media and law enforcement routinely excuse the behavior of cops who abuse citizens, even kill them, if they merely feel threatened. But if a cop like Chief Harger gets death threats because he's testifying against another cop, he's somehow bad if he legally gets another name to protect himself? Officers are rarely brought to trial, even more rarely convicted, although the city is paying a fortune in lawsuits for excessive use of force, $24 million since 2010 and counting. The Albuquerque Police Force has shot 36 people, 23 of them fatally since 2010. They've had officers shoot more people than the New York Police Department, even though New York is 16 times larger. 
In fact, the Albuquerque police are four times more likely to shoot than the national average. An ongoing Department of Justice probe seeks to, quote, determine whether APD engages in a pattern or practice of use of excessive force in violation of the Constitution and federal law. If the Department of Justice is serious about finding out why APD is so quick to shoot the public, it should start with the militarization and the no hesitation mindset being pushed by Homeland Security and the federal government. New Mexico's new Shoot First training program is so bad that at least one instructor refused to even teach it. So he was fired. And the public has been shut out of policy decisions even as taxpayers are forced to pay for lawsuits against the police. Jack Jones, director of New Mexico's Law Enforcement Academy, justified the Shoot First training by saying, evil has come to the state of New Mexico. I would rephrase that. The state of New Mexico has come to evil. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Survival Shield nascent iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWars Live. So this may be the most important health secret we're talking about today and break down toxic overload and the solution for that. Well, health secret number five kind of is an overview of all the other ones. I mean, we talked about clean air and the toxic air. We talked about clean food and the toxic food. We talked about clean water, the toxic food. And we talked about how bad stress affects your body and, and gave you solutions for all that. But health secret number five is really doing something about it. It's about changing your life and it's about becoming more clean. It's about detoxifying your life. So health secret five is becoming or creating a clean body and a clean environment. And in order to do that, I mean, we might take 30 or 40 years to, to get contaminated. I mean, I ask people sometimes, how many times have you cleansed the inside of your body? You know, people take a shower every single day and they clean the outside of their body. But one of the things they don't do is deep clean the inside of their body. So I always recommend Starting off with intestinal cleansing, using a good oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, then moving on to liver and gallbladder cleansing, then moving on to parasite cleansing, and then moving on to chemical and heavy metal cleansing. You know, I used to be able to prescribe to people all kinds of health supplements, but then I realized that even with all the health supplements out there, you still have a toxic intestinal tract, you still have compaction in there, you still have a toxic liver. Most people drink alcohol, their liver is fatty. You know, just from the toxins itself in the liver causes problems. So really through years and years of research and testing and working with people, we realized that the true secret to health is just avoiding the toxins that are coming into your body and keeping your body clean on a regular basis. Now, after you clean the inside of your body, you also need to prevent those chemicals and those toxins from coming into your system. And that means, you know, everything in your house you should look at. I mean, from the deodorant, from the cookware, to the toothpaste, to all the cleaning supplies in your home, to your shampoos and conditioners, to the rugs, the paints. I mean, you know, the list goes on and on, but at least you know that all negative health conditions and all disease are caused by one thing, and that is chemical toxins that are coming into your system, overloading your system that you're not able to get rid of in a timely manner because you're not cleaning the inside of your system, and you're not opening up your elimination routes either through exercise, through sweating, through defecation, through urination, and women have menses. So, it is one of the most important health secrets because, I mean, we keep everything else clean in our lives. We keep our car clean. We keep our clothes clean. 
you know, people aren't walking around and, and wearing the same clothes over and over and over and over again. They start to smell, they start to become diseased. People clean their kitchen after they eat. They clean the outside of their body by taking a shower every day. But the one thing that they're not doing is cleaning the inside of their body. So that is one of the key points of keeping your body healthy, keeping your body clean, preventing symptoms, preventing disease, and it's the health secret number five. And what are some simple ways to clean out your body on a daily basis? One of the, just avoid eating GMO foods, you know, switch to an organic diet, start eating organic clean foods, drink clean water instead of all the other toxic beverages so out there. Utilize the other health secrets to ultimately manifest this final secret, which is to clean out your body on a daily basis and be conscious of that. Exactly, exactly. But you're going to need to take some supplements. You're going to need to, you know, purge your body of these things. It's one thing to avoid all the chemicals and toxins and to make those adjustments, which we talked about in the other health secrets. But then you also need to take two steps backwards and you need to take the effort to cleanse the inside of your body. For intestinal cleansing, I only recommend oxygen-based cleansers. For liver and gallbladder cleansing, there's a lot of different programs out there. I recommend Levitrex. For chemical and heavy metal cleansing, you know, find good ways to clean the chemicals and heavy metals out of your system. Zeolites work, Corella, blue-green algae, cilantro. Um, you, there's plenty of information out there that people can choose from. And, to and even, use. even just putting a slice of lemon, here's a key tip as well. You put a slice of lemon in your warm water, the first thing you do in the morning before you even brush your teeth or anything. A slice of lemon, you put it into the water, you, you actually squish it, all the juice that goes into the water, or two pieces of lemon really, and you drink that, and that will help detoxify your liver first thing in the morning. It'll help you be more alert throughout the day. Your cognitive function will be enhanced, and it's virtually free. Yeah, it's you're extremely simple. Right. Or lime and, also works too. And what I what I like to do is add organic apple cider vinegar to that. Yeah. So you put you know a teaspoon of organic apple cider vinegar, squeeze a lemon or a lime in there, and it is a great metabolism booster. It it just give, gives you lots of energy. It gets you going in the morning. And it's great for your body because it supports your elimination cycle. I mean, in the morning, your body is designed to eliminate everything from the night before. What you need is you need enzymes, vitamins, minerals, the same thing found in fruits, actually, that will support your elimination cycle. And organic apple cider vinegar with warm water and lemon is perfect for everybody to take in the morning. And Opposite of that, you don't want to drink cold water because it destroys our digestion. And like you said, you can't eliminate things anymore when your digestion is completely obliterated. And that's why people feel like crap all day. They wake up in the morning, have a cold glass of water or milk, which is even worse, and then they can't digest anything and they feel tired by 1 to 2 p.m. and they want to go to sleep. But overall, this has been a key session. I think these health secrets are integral to any actual routine organized to enhance health. I use them every single day. You've helped me in the past exceptionally well. I'm glad to speak with you over and over again on these key topics. And I think for the first time, this really is a solution-based, just a concentrated solution video broadcast. And I'm proud to say that we did it. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. I am too. Just know that everybody, you can change your health and you can become healthier. Just one step at a time. Take these health tips to heart. And, you know, you can make change. It's just a decision away. So change and be healthy. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcode with up to 11 other people. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.